All right, let's talk vaccines right now. 70% is the number on everyone's mind in Washington. And that's how many adults need to get at least one shot of the vaccine for the state to fully reopen. But we're not there yet, and the state wants to make it as easy as possible to get the vaccine when you're ready. Mayor Kawash is live at one of several vaccine clinics right now where you can even catch a baseball game after your shot. That's right, Nia. A little bit of a windy night here at Avista Stadium where the Spokane Indians are about to get started at 630. You got the kids coming in with their gloves and the parents coming in to get their Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Now they're giving these shots on a walk-in basis, if you'd like, until 7 o'clock tonight. And again, the game starts at 630 and really clinics like these are the path forward for Washington to reach that vaccination goal of 70%. The possibility of reopening Washington has given people another incentive to get vaccinated. Clinics are happening every day across Spokane County. Clinics at Gonzaga, Riverfront Park, and at Spokane Indians games. We just need to go where the people are and that uh, efforts like that are very successful at, at doing that. Now the goal for Washington is 70% of adults with one dose. Right now the state sits at 59%. Spokane is striving for that goal on a county level, and for that to happen, roughly 93,000 people still need to get a shot. In the meantime, we're seeing the positive effect from those vaccines. Cases are at a plateau around Spokane with an average of 111 reported each day. And those cases are coming from the same people, younger people. You can see right here, roughly 57% of cases in Spokane come from those younger than 40. Now, the good news is COVID-related hospital visits are on the decline. Between May 9th and the 15th, 41 people in Spokane were admitted to the hospital for COVID, compared to 56 the previous week. 72% of ICU beds are also being used right now. That's a drop from 88% the week before. And the health district is urging vaccinations to also keep kids out of the hospital as they make up 40% of all COVID-19 cases nationwide. We do want to encourage um, as much as possible uh, parents to have a conversation with their kids. Now, a ton of fans coming in now as the game is about to get started at 6.30. Now, if you want to come and get your Johnson & Johnson shot, you do not need an appointment. They're going to be giving them until 7 o'clock here. It's just one dose for people that are 18 and older. And again, you do not need an appointment. It's on a walk-in basis. Reporting live in Spokane tonight, I'm Mayor Kawash for News Now.